Your name is? Marty Stray. What do you do here in the, in Lawrence, Kansas? Store director at Hy-Vee on 6th Street. How many years have you been doing the uh, veterans uh, breakfast? Hy-Vee as a company has been doing it for the last three years. Uh, in the stores I've worked at, we've done it for close to 10 years now. Outstanding. Uh, what type of uh, response have you had from the community? Phenomenal. The, uh, not only from the veterans, but from our customers and our employees uh, equally enjoy it. Tell me a little bit more about High V stores. They seem to, to have a, a pretty rich history. Uh, High V's been around for a little over 80 years now, and uh, it's an employee-owned company that uh, each of our employees here have a have a share and a stock in how High V does. And uh, we believe being involved in the community and doing the right thing for our customers and being part of the community we live in. I happen to know that you're also involved with the Lawrence Breakfast Optimist Club. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about that community connection? Uh, the Lawrence Breakfast Optimist Club, uh, it's actually a great fit with uh, Hy-Vee. A lot of the organization uh, events tie in with uh, children and youth of the Lawrence community. And uh, this year we'll be selling Christmas trees out here in the parking lot to help raise funds for um, the Lawrence Optimist Club. It's one of their main fundraisers for the year. Excellent. Now you also have uh, you have a second location at uh, 23rd and Clinton Parkway? Yes, 23rd and Clinton Parkway. Um, they'll be selling Christmas trees there this year also. Outstanding. Anything else that you'd like me to know about uh, your community stewardship activities? Uh, just, uh, we just, we're strongly involved in the community. We do a lot with uh, the local schools and uh, different organizations in town. So. I think I saw something about a marathon event that you were sponsoring for K-6 through over at the Boys and Girls Club. Yes. Uh, actually, it's uh, the Marathon Mile at a Time Club, and what it is is uh, kids run a mile at a time, and uh, they'll run the last mile of their marathon at the Kansas Marathon uh, in the spring, which I believe is April 17th, possibly.